Hey folks, how are you doing? Joe for the Joe Wentz Project and today's video, here's a disclaimer, uh, no guitars. Aww. Okay, so this is uh, kind of part two, uh, if you're not familiar, uh, I'll put a, a tag, was it up here or up here, somewhere up in here, I'll put a tag of uh, what my son got me for Father's Day, right? And uh, if you saw that video, I've added a couple more things to my collection, which would be Star Wars. So if you're not a Star Wars fan, you can click off this video now. I'm gonna show you what I've added since then, which isn't a lot. And I have an un unboxing to do as well. Oh, what is that right there? That's a snow speeder. And look at that. That is the ooh, where am I at? Dar uh, TIE Fighter and then the Darth Vader TIE Fighter. So those are both uh, <laughs> 78s. Those are original 1978 models, right? And uh, the Snow Speeder, I'll let you get a better look at that. I really uh, like this. I had this when I was a kid, of course. You know, it was just <laughs> really cool, man. I mean, it's uh, in great shape. It's really clean. And I was just really thrilled to be able to grab this. And, uh, yeah, I think this came out, uh, what, was it 1980? Around that time, 80, 81, something like that. When uh, Empire came out, right? So here is the uh, 78 TIE Fighter. I never had one of these when I was a kid, but uh, I knew of... A, a, there's a boy that lived behind me in the neighborhood. He had one, and I always thought they were cool. The one thing I always noticed, though, uh, oh, it works. <laughs> the one thing that uh, when I was a kid that I noticed is in the movie, of course, they were gray. But when the toys came out, they were white. And I was like, wow, that's pretty wild. So this really clean is in great condition. It's got a couple of scratches here and there, but they're toys they were meant to be played with right so whoever had it really took good care of it i guess they put it in a closet or a box or who knows all original 1978 tie fighter and you got the cockpit right there you can put your figure stormtrooper in or whatever <laughs> pretty wild man this is the uh 78 darth vader tie fighter and i put batteries in it just to yeah <laughs> it's barely rolling but it's rolling so very clean um cockpit everything looks good on it i was really shocked i mean i was going to get uh thinking about getting a power of the force line which is i think those came out in like 90 i think it was 96 on the uh, darth vader model but i was like it but back here on those the power of the force lines back here it's a lot of extra plastic and um uh, I don't know i just didn't like it i mean this is what i was used to when i was a kid this is what i had so the darth vader tie fighter i was really happy to get that man anyway we got a a new acquisition today we got the big old box right here it's a pretty good size box so i'm going to open this up real quick this is the power of the force line millennium falcon there it is so wow i gotta give the guy big props for really packaging it really nice and the box is in great shape look at that man wow that is clean right there i just dropped a piece that is clean millennium falcon together i'm gonna keep that box too wow look at that cockpit looks nice got the compartment on top Anyway, we'll get it set up and get it somewhere. I'm going to have to put it on a little table over here or something or on top of the shelf, something like that. But there we go. That's the brand new acquisition, the Millennium Falcon Power of the Force line, uh, 1996 model. So that's awesome, man. All right. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, leave a thumbs up, man, if you're a Star Wars fan. Leave a comment. You know, I love to read the comments, love to... Uh, hear what you have to say, or actually read what you have to say. And until next time, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.